28-24 cuts down. The Golden Bears, after a wild sequence, take the lead through an interception, but the Rams fumbled, setting up cuts down, and then Derek Anderson catching the leading touchdown. Tyson Bajan trying to pull out one more miracle. Bajan under pressure, rolling out to the right. We'll chuck it toward the end zone. Oh, my God! <laughs> Shepard! At the last second again, breaks Kutztown's heart. That play sent the Rams to the national semifinals, where unfortunately the Rams' season would come to an end against the eventual national champions, Ferris State. It was still a historic season for Shepard. Head coach Ernie McCook highlighted on media day what the Rams need to do to continue that success. Turners who have played at a high level need to continue to work to get better. Um, our, team will our team will rise to their leadership. And as high as our team will go will be what this group that I just introduced to you picks them up and brings us to. The players in that are in key roles for the first time, all right? We're going to need them to rise up and be, be, be con major contributors to our success. And I'm hoping that when the season ends, there's going to be a lot of people in this room who are going to say, who was this guy? Who was that guy? Because if we're going to have success, it's not just the guys who made plays that are back. It's going to be young guys that are going to have to step up. And they're going to have to do that with their preparation and commitment to Shepherd University football. At Media Day, Coach McCook also provided an overview of the team. For us to be successful, I'm going to give you a little overview of our, of our football team. And, and then uh, we'll open up for questions. Specialist-wise, our success is going to have to come through uh, the competition we have at kicker with Jacob Haney and Garrett Hutchinson um, and James Bozick. I think those guys are going to—they're going to—they're going to compete for the kicking position. We feel very good about where Ryan Barrick is as a punter. He'll be a sophomore returner there. Uh, we're very fortunate with the addition of Zach Fry. Zach Fry is a long snapper that transferred from some school in Ohio that I refuse to mention that name. Um, they were the blue team that we beat in the last second and started a fight. And uh, I, I don't know. But it's always fun to beat Notre Dame of Ohio. Um, but Zach, Zach transferred from there, and he is a tremendous long snapper. And I really think that that's going to help in a really important role in our football program on special teams. Uh, defensively, uh, we're going to be anchored inside with uh, Matt Benarski and Nathan Muley. Uh, we're, and we're going to get some solid contributions from Shippensburg transfer, Solomon Alexander, and Journey Dunbar, who's already in the program. On the outside, we talked about um, Malik Holloway and Kyle Smith being anchors, um, bookends on the defensive end spot. We look for Isaiah Farmer and Jason Robinson, a true freshman from Annapolis, Maryland, to contribute in a key way there. Uh, we talked about him. I introduced Anilio. He's our star position, which is like an outside linebacker. Uh, that, that position will be, he'll be working at that position along with Cedric Ofori, who will be a grad student here, who's been in our program, and Terrell Lindsey. Inside linebackers, uh, transfer Dwayne Grantham from Lackawanna Community College that played at Martinsburg High School, uh, Devin Lynch, Kevin Kausner, and true freshman uh, JT Yao Kam uh, Kwame. I hope I said that right. My God, I called him at 8 o'clock this morning. Like, don't let me butcher this. So I did the best I could for him. In the secondary, uh, right now we have a couple minor soft tissue injuries holding up uh, guys that we feel are going to contribute, uh, Dante Harrison and Donnell Howard. We're looking forward to getting those guys back on the field. You won't see them today, um, but you, they will be hopefully ready to go on September 1st against Southern Connecticut. Uh, freshman Jaleel Singleton is really doing a nice job there, along with salt at corner, uh, at our field corner spot, along with Christian Lassane. The boundary corner is locked down by um, Clayton Batten, as Clayton continues to get better, and Derek Adamas. The safeties. Uh, we have Keyshawn Haley, great fall camp, uh, really excited about what he'll bring to the table there, along with Alabama State um, transfer Christian McDowell, uh, Omari Terry, a freshman from Baltimore, and Naeem Alexander, a sophomore from um, Hagerstown, Maryland, and Sekul Kamara from Gaithersburg, Maryland, will give us depth at the safety position. 
On offense, <clears throat> Chandler Brown and Joey Fisher have been holding down the tackle spots, left and right, respectively. Uh, inside, we've got some competition going on there with Wyatt Pelicano, James Bell, Ty Lucas, Jackson Zadera, um, Curtis Jefferson, and we're hoping uh, Curtis Jefferson and Dobbin Reasoner, who's a transfer from Lackawanna, get healthy from some injuries that they've had set us back. So we've got three guys that will contribute on the O-line that we're hoping to get back sooner than later um, and give us uh, some great strength up front. The receiver position, um, we, we've had a, we had a really tough injury set us back there, um, but we're, we're going to grow from that. Uh, Kenny Ed Edlin, a uh, transfer from Westchester. Max Fisher is a transfer from North Carolina State. Freshman Will Ennis. Mar Marlon Cook, who graduated from Shepard last spring, entered graduate school this fall, uh, is, is playing the outside X receiver. Alfonso Foray, another Lackawanna County uh, Community College transfer, and then freshman Cameron Dorner from Oakdale, who if any of the Frederick County people may know, he hit, I think, a game-winning shot in the state championship game. So it's pretty, we've got some really good athletes there along with Ryan Beach and Rodney Dorsey that, that are in there, and Rodney's in his latter, latter part of his career. Um, running back, uh, Ronnie Brown, really excited about what Ronnie's done this fall camp and what he continues to do. Really pleased with Devon Holly, who got some uh, snaps last year and really has had a good fall camp, along with transfer from Lehigh Musselman graduate uh, Blake Hartman. Uh, tight end uh, is B Walk, we're putting that thing on you. You got to get that done. Brian Walker, Jack Rosnich is a defensive lineman we moved over that we're um, really excited about what he brings. And then our fullback position is, and is Michael McCook, my son, and Dustin Fisher, um, who is a really good player in that position. So we feel very good about that. Did I miss any other positions? Uh, I did, the quarterback spot. <laughs> yeah, I like to talk about the quarterback spot. And, and uh, obviously Tyson's going into his uh, last year of eligibility. Uh, Tyson's career as a starter has been really awesome, you know, as a freshman in 2018. And we've had a chance to reflect on a little bit of his career here over the last uh, couple weeks in camp. And we both agree that we're, we're, we're chained to each other for this last season. His success is my success, my success is his success, and we're all in this one together. I can't tell you what, how much I appreciate this football team these kids that are fun to be around, um, how hard they work, and how much they are committed to Shepherd University and our football program. And I, I know that some guys have had some great opportunities, decided to stay, and uh, you know, and it's um, it means a lot. And it's my my job, our coaching job, staff's jobs. Dr. Hendricks is our job to make sure this football team and these players have the best possible experience possible. And that we put this together for them to have success. We're out here at Shepherd University with Rams quarterback Tyson Bajent. Tyson uh, coming off of a great season last year at the Harlan Hill and you guys making it to the semifinals. Uh, what are some of the goals for you individually this year and uh, for the team? Um, I think, you know, the goals for the team, they stay the same every year we want to win a national championship. Um, definitely we want to win the PSAC, we want to make it to the regional championship, and then we want to win the last game that we play. Um, I think individually I've kind of done everything that I can, and I really I just want to value taking care of the football this year and ending drive with points and, and creating a, a, a fellowship and a bond with my teammates. Offensively, you returned some of your weapons from last year, Ronnie Brown, Ryan Beach, uh, Brian Walker's back, will have a bigger role this year at tight end. Uh, but. You do have some young guys and some newcomers. What have you seen out of those guys uh, that surround you this year? I think the eagerness to learn, the eagerness to get better, and just kind of the understanding of what this offense is capable of. And I think, you know, like Coach said, um, people want to be a part of it. So, you know, we've gotten some good transfers. We've got some good young guys that understand what it takes and what it looks like. And then it's just kind of up to us old guys to kind of pave the way, make them feel as comfortable as possible, and to kind of, you know, mix them in as we go. And as a team, just as a whole, uh, you lose some of your big leaders in uh, Chris Lane, Ponce de Leon, uh, but you return, Kyle Smith returns, and, and some other guys. So 
Uh, how have you guys been able to, I guess, lead this this newer and younger team uh, this year? I, I think it's the same as, as every year. I think uh, every year you lose leaders, uh, you keep leaders, and you gain new leaders. So we're kind of just going about it as the way that it's been shown us in years past. And um, I think the camaraderie and kind of the bond that's been already formed throughout camp, um, it's, it's been just like any, any great year that I've been here at Shepard. Anyone stand out to you uh, out of some of the newcomers offensively? Um, yeah, I would say, you know, not, not necessarily a newcomer. Ronnie Brown is head and shoulders better than he was last year. A lot more mature, a lot more physically gifted this year. I think Avon Holly has definitely stepped up to the table at running back, um, kind of moving from defense to offense last year, kind of getting the gist of it, and I think he's got a, he's got a good hold of it now. Uh, I think Kenny, Kenny Edlin, uh, Alfonso Ferre, Marlon Cook, um, Rodney Dorsey's back after breaking his foot last year. Um, these are all guys that have showed uh, great improvement in camp and that I think come week one will be ready to roll. And then uh, scrimmage today, what are some things you want to see out of the guys today at the scrimmage? I just want to just want, um, you know, have fun and, you know, you get beat physically one on one that that happens. But, you know, no mental errors. There shouldn't be anybody out there, you know, kind of kind of messing up mentally, doing their own thing. You know, stay locked in, have fun and always do the right thing at a, at a, at a high speed. All right, Tyson, thank you. And uh, have fun today at the scrimmage. Yes, sir. Thank you. We're out here with uh, Rams wide receiver Ryan Beach. Ryan, uh, heading into your sophomore year. Uh, how was the off season? Got to have that full off season experience this year for Shepard. Yeah, it was awesome. Um, you know, the people that are here right now have been together for the three years, um, including COVID. So we're a tight group already, and then we got to spend all summer together. So I feel really good about it. And overall, there's a lot of new players in the uh, wide receiver room. Uh, you're kind of already been put into a leadership role out of those guys. How do you think you've, uh, I guess, taken on that role? I love it. You know, it's something that uh, I think I do naturally just because I love football. So when you're around people who love football, everyone kind of does their own part. So I'm trying to lead better this year, but I also have the older kids leading with me and the younger kids. So really everyone's just trying to do their role and lead by example. What are some things that you guys want to accomplish this year? We just want to be a uh, – that's a lot of things. We want to be the best offense in the nation, um, win every game, you know, going to the playoffs, playing every game at home. And uh, as a core, you know, we just want to have a good year for Tyson, figure it out. Anyone stand out to you uh, out of some of those other guys that are getting more reps this year? Yeah, I think actually uh, just everybody in general looked like they came back to school uh, ready, like ready to go. We all look in shape. Um, there's a few transfers that I didn't play with right away that uh, – you know, I think are going to be really good for us. So hopefully we come out on the first game and you guys can see everybody. But I think the group is really good this year, really solid. For you personally, what are some of your goals this season? I want to have a better year than last year. And I just want to, like you said, I want to have a, a leadership role more than I did because I'm older and I've been here. And uh, I just want to win. I want to win the whole thing. I want to make it to the national championship this year and win it all. So that's it. Anything you want to get out of today's scrimmage? I'm just excited to see the young guys play and, uh, you know, see how the ones go live in like real game situation. But I'm really excited for all the kids who are going to get a lot of reps today, see, uh, see how everyone looks and then the camp, you know. All right, Ryan, thank you and uh, good luck. Yes, sir, thank you. We're here with Rams uh, defensive end Kyle Smith. Kyle, uh, you lose a lot of your defensive leaders from last year, Chris Lane, Ponce de Leon, to name a few. But you were already kind of one of those leaders, uh, but now you really have to step up. What's kind of been your message to the guys this offseason? Um, it's really just been since we've lost a lot of guys that there's, there's, there's competition. There's spots open for everybody. And if you want it, then you're going to have to take it. You know, you're going to have to come in every day and prove that you can be one of those guys that can step on the field and can contribute. Um, so I've just been constantly trying to get the guys to realize that like, this stuff is not handed to you. You have to come in here and earn it every single day. You have to earn the tr coach's trust in order for them to put you on the field. Um, you have to be consistent. You have to know your plays. Um, so the coaches have faith that when you get in the game that, you know, you're going to do your job. Kyle, what, what did you work on this offseason? Um, really, it's just been ironing out a little bit of technique-wise, small steps, um, where my hands are going. Um, so overarching is just, it's just been technique, really, um, and my communication skills as well to the, older, uh, to the younger guys um, because, like you said, I, um, a lot of guys have – a lot of older guys have left, and I'm one of the older guys now, so I really wanted to um, step up in the leadership role and, um, you know, just try to communicate, really. On the outside, uh, on the D-line, you know, you and Malik come back, but interior, you're replacing 
two of the guys that were here for a long time, and Juwan Addison, Ricky Robinson. So, uh, what have you seen out of those guys that have fought for those interior spots? Um, they, they've been doing a pretty good job, I think. Um, there's a couple of guys in there that you know have the skills, have the skill set to really contribute. They just need to find that you know that little that little quick twitch, you know that 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 grit, you know that real desire to to be nasty. Because in the interior, you guys are going to have to handle a lot of double teams, and you need to be nasty. You need to be you know real aggressive to um, be able to do that. So you know we need we have had some guys fighting for those spots. You know um, Journey Dunbar is one of the guys that I'm really looking forward to. Um, really hoping that he's going to step up. Um, but he's been doing a pretty good job so far. Um, but I really hope he really, you know, follows all the way through um, with that. You know, and Nathan Muley and uh, Matt Bernarski, they've been doing a good job too. Those two guys are um, penciled in as the starters. You know, nothing's guaranteed, um, but those guys are the starters for right now. And, you know, I'm looking for those guys to just really just continue to stay healthy, to keep take care of their bodies so they can stay there and anchor that defense. What are some goals for you personally this year? Uh, personally, um, uh, when we had our first defensive meeting, um, I told the team uh, my personal goals was to uh, lead the team in sacks, lead the team in TFLs, um, and be um, the leading uh, tackler on the defensive line. Um, but then I followed up with that with uh, the team. I, I want a ring. You know, I want to play for a ring, so don't, so don't mess it up. So, um, that, I mean, that's, that's what we're going for. That's what I'm going for personally and uh, my personal goals and as a team. What would be uh, some goals for the defense? The defense stopped the run. <laughs> it stopped the run. Um, always stopping the run. Um, coach is always saying, you know, play the run first, play the run second, play the run third, and then then you can go rush the passer. So um, we're going to be a great defense if we can stop the run. All right, Kyle, thank you, and uh, good luck this season. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Everybody hustle in, hustle in, let's go. Yes, sir. All right, hey, man, we are going to shoots. All right, one-on-ones, then we're going to go to sudden change. Everybody got that? Yes, sir. Get your warmed up. Let's have a day. All right, on three, 93. One, two, three. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Let's go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Shoots are over on the side. Let's go. Over here. Shoots over here. Come on. Back. Break up the line. Here we go, right here. Ready. Set hut. Stay down, stay down, stay down. Here we go, ready. Set hut. Ah. Gotta drive your feet, shoot your hands. Right here, ready. Set hut. Ready. Set hut. Gotta stay in bounds, stay in bounds. And then where we really need officiating is once I, I know you guys are here to get work. Yeah. All right, this is our loosen up time. Yeah, yeah. But here you can get it'll it's like an inside run or it's a perimeter drill. So your umpire and side judges will be able to see stuff, all right? Yeah. And then sudden change is third down and eight. He explained that to you. We've yeah. got six reps for that. And then I want to do a two-minute drill, mm -hmm. all right? And I'll throw the scenario out there if that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. And then our scrimmage, the first series is we're not going to go tackle with the ones, and then we'll go tackle with some kicking game in the middle, okay? Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. So anytime you need us for anything, just tell us. Okay. In between, we can, yep. we can yep. jump. Any other time. We'll I, I, I always, I'm always afraid of wasting your time, so I want to make sure you get the work you need. Okay. Definitely so. not really wasting our time, and honestly, yeah. to watch some of your blocking drills okay. helps us too. All right. When you okay. Think about it. Hey, you, you got to watch the D line coach. He cheats. What <laughs> <laughs> right. saying about the offensive line? I know. Yeah. <laughs> he does, it's his birthday, so he, he can All get right. a couple. All right. All we'll right. Give him one. Yeah. Just one. Yeah. So we'll be good with that. All right. You guys are good. Yep. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. Okay. Kind of Where are you guys around. all from? I know we've had you before. Yeah, I'm from Maryland. You did the Millersville game before? Westchester. Westchester, okay. I know you've had us. Yep. What games have you had? Uh, you were at um, Bloom. Bloom, okay. <laughs> Sorry about that one. Yeah. <laughs> Apologize. Have you had us before? No, this is first year. First one. Where are you from? Uh, South of Virginia. Okay. You had a nice little trip up. Have you had us before? Yes. Guess who? Uh, Don't say Kutztown. <laughs> well, no, not last year, aside from 
spring game, but uh, years prior, I had you all against East Strasburg here. Okay. I think it was like a combined 105 points scored. Yeah. First four. T first four, four touches. Yeah, yeah, touchdowns. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was. On that horse that game. Yeah, that was a, that was something. Have you had us before? Touchdown. <laughs> what, the good one or the bad one? Hail uh, Mary at the end. Oh, that's a good one. A couple years ago, I'll be here. Uh, yep. Ship. Two yep. years ago, okay. and I'll be back with Ship. Oh, nice. Awesome. Well, glad to have you guys, and we'll have some fun with it today. Had you a few times. We're, we're, we just want to keep everybody healthy. Yep. So that's our number one goal. James, hey, James, you're on the front side inside backer. You got the front side inside. Who is that, Blake? Who's wearing 26? He's got to accelerate through the hole. Blake, hey, once you hit the hole, burst. Yeah, you got to burst. Once you make a decision, one cut and go. You all right? Here you go. Take a break. Take a break. Hey, hey, hey. take this rep. You alright? Oh, come on, Trey. God bless it, man. Stay on your feet. That's where the ball's supposed to hit. God bless it. Hey, man. Let's go. Good footwork up front. Have balance. Be explosive. Trust it. Trust it. Here we go. Let's go. Here we go. Hey, make a good read here. Hang on, hang on, hang on. All right, here we go. Let's go. Press it, double team. Press it. Good. Hey, make one cut off of it. Let's go. Attack half a man. Hey, if he goes away, you're climbing there. Good. Hit it. Come on, Matt. Drive it. Matt, 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 you got to drive him, all right? Control him with your hands. Let's go. Hey, put it in the middle, Jack. Jack, put it in the middle. In the middle. Here we go. Good footwork. Let's go. Good footwork. Good footwork. Third down and eight. Third down and eight. 11 seconds on the clock. We got one timeout left. 11 seconds on the clock. We got one timeout left. This is the end of the third, second quarter. Hang on. Hey! Hey, all you offensive guys, get back! Get back! Hey, Ty! Ty! Who are you trapping? Did you do it? Did you redirect? <laughs> 